Hey everyone, my name is Adam Marcher, and today I have a video that I think both the knife guys and camping survival bushcraft guys will enjoy as well. This is a tiny Mora, um, much smaller than any Mora knife that's currently being produced. I believe this was produced over 50 years ago, although I had a bunch of details when I first posted about it on Reddit. Um, that post has since been deleted, or the person's comment had been so I no longer have those details. Um, this was made by K.J. Erickson of Mora, Sweden. Um, that all runs under the same company now, um, Mora of Sweden. I think they sold, maybe, I think it was K.J. sold to Frost, which sold to Mora of Sweden. I think that was the run of events. But just to kind of get a respect of how small this knife is, this is a normal sized Mora right here. Just kind of compare that size right there. This is an Openel number eight right there. So this knife is absolutely tiny. Um, Mora, their smallest knife they're producing currently, I believe is called the Eldris, um, which has a large stubby handle that I'm not really a fan of, and then a large stubby blade. Uh, well, I, I guess it has a normal size handle, but a large stubby blade nonetheless. Um, with this, it's literally just a miniature Mora, um, which I absolutely love. Um, I really wish Mora would start producing something this size again. And with so many people going into liking small knives, I think they definitely would if people started asking for it. Uh, it has the normal wood handles. Uh, same grind as normal, however, um, this has been kind of sharpened uh, over the years. Let's make sure that you guys can see this. The lighting isn't perfect for this since it's kind of shiny. The blade is just under two and a half inches with about a three inch handle. I'll show that right now. So just under two and a half inch blade and just slightly under three inch handle. Barely a speck under. Probably a tenth of an inch under th three inch handle. So for my fingers, they're rather skinny. It fits very well into my hand. Still four finger grip. And that gives a lot of control over the blade. Um, I was talking to somebody at Blade Show when I purchased this, or a little bit after when I purchased it, and they were talking about how that back in or in Sweden where these were first produced, that uh, many years ago school children would carry them around and actually use them to sharpen their pencils, and it was called, kind of considered a pen knife to them. Uh, the sheath I have for it was not actually the original sheath right here, um, but I like it nonetheless. Uh, fits the knife pretty well. I also have a little, it has a little chain on it that I was I used to hang on my um, pass when I was at Blade Show. So it was very nice, easy to carry. Um, I'm guessing it had the standard uh, Mora sheath, kind of plastic. I don't have an example of it right now. Well, I actually probably had a leather Mora sheath due to its age, rather than the plastic Mora sheaths now. But rather short video, since I don't have too many details on it, I thought I wanted to show you guys because this is a knife that um, I'm sure a lot of people would like if they had brought or if they would bring it back, which I'm definitely going to be messaging Mora, trying to encourage them to bring something like this back. I really think people would purchase it. Anyways, let me know what you think of this tiny Mora knife. Um, if you have any details on it, comment in the description, or not in the description, comment in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to know your uh, impression of it, or if you have any details of the history behind this knife. Um, and I'll, um, I think I can hold a comment at the very top, so if you have a lot of details, 
I'll make sure to do that so other people can see it as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, let's show this in really up close just in case you're wanting, and then I'll head out. Let's get a good look at that logo too. I would definitely carry this knife if I could find a duplicate of it. My biggest concern is that I would lose this knife in the woods and that I'd no longer own it and never be able to find another one like it because I've tried to search eBay. But I hate that I can't carry it because that would be a real loss to lose something like this. At least to me. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.